heard lots of rumors going around about this new plan, and I hope that the people that are going to vote on this is going to read every single page there. I have been told there is a clause in there that everyone that's Medicare age will be visited and told to decide how they wish to die. Old people could be visited in their homes and essentially be told, all right, sweetie, you've had a good life. End of life care for our seniors. The government wants to decide whether or not certain seniors will get pr uh, procedures they need to enhance their quality of life and whether or not the computer mod mod uh, module that they use, or computer model, determines that that's not the highest and best use of, of uh, their health care dollars. American people don't want that. As a mandatory counseling session, First of all, stay away from my father, who's 83 years old. I don't want any government bureaucrat telling him what kind of treatment I, he should consider to be a good the, citizen. What, what we want is That's for you and your... This thing is really bad for America, but it's even worse for seniors. But you know what they're going to do to make sure that the seniors are going to be happy? They're going to give them end-of-life counseling. Take away benefits, but tell you how you're going to die. Put to death by their government. But I'm not for sacrificing the right. final days of old people in the interests of lawyers. Can't tell sure. the old people, listen, be patriotic and die quietly and save off the quarter of all health care costs in your dying days and at the same time ignore what's happened to our system. Well, one thing the president got hammered on for even mentioning, but no politician wants to touch, is end-of-life care. And this is something that's not being brought up at all because some of these people can be squeezed pretty harsh in this plan, in the plan and no one's talking about it. Why? This is one of the hidden victims here. Look. The government is trying to say to you, cut costs as you die. Let's not spend good money after bad. That's not, that's wrong. The bureaucrats got to make the decision. You aren't. And it's in the House bill. Once you reach, I don't know what the age is, every five years, it's in the 60s, and every five years, some counselor shows up. Right. In other words, it would mandate that those that get government care literally could be pushed to refuse care and the larger issue here having to do with end-of-life care, I looked at the language. There's no requirement that you be counseled because it would be inherently coercive. The, Mary, I just want to be clear. Nobody's going to be knocking on your door. Nobody's going to be telling you you've got to fill one out. Uh, and certainly nobody's going to be uh, forcing you to make a, a set of decisions on end-of-life care uh, based on you know, some bureaucratic law in Washington.